Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In an earlier video, I installed PPSSPP on my Phytium D2000 ARM computer with Ubuntu 22.04 and I installed PPSSPP through Flatpak. But unfortunately, the performance was not what I expected. So I compiled PPSSPP myself and after that the performance was more according to what I expected. So here you see the GitHub page for PPSSPP. And when you scroll a little bit down, there's a link to the wiki. And from there, you can go to the build instructions. Um, so here is the command to download the code. Um, in my case, Git was not installed. So I had to install Git first. So you can do that with sudo apt install Git. And after that, I downloaded the code from the GitHub. And yeah, this part. Um, so when you download the code the first time, uh, it's not really necessary to do this. Uh, that's only necessary when you're downloading updates. And after downloading the updates, that's when you have to do the updates for the submodules. So, but this is like the first download and compilation, so you don't need these commands. But you only need these in the future. So it says you need Python 3. Well, that was already installed on Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, but you do need uh, these packages. So from the history, you can see that I also installed those packages. And I installed the Qt packages. So that's what you see here. So here it only has the packages, but you need to put sudo apt install in front of that. So once that's all installed, so then I checked if the pp sspp subdirectory is there. So that one was there. So you cd into the subdirectory. And then I checked what was there. And well, here they say the only thing you have to do is execute this shell script with this option. And then you should be good to go. At least it will take several minutes. Um, so then probably uh, that's a good moment to get a, a cup of coffee or perhaps uh, some other drink. And I think after that you're you're good to go. And so here you can see the PPSSPP subdirectory. And then you can go to build. And then here is the executable. So yeah, this looks a bit big 
at least the characters are quite big. So what I saw was that, let's see. Yeah, the window size, you have to set it to three times, or at least I had to set it to three times and then it all looks a lot better. Um, yeah, now I do have the option to use the Vulcan backend, but unfortunately that doesn't work on my machine. Uh, yeah, it has to restart, but it doesn't start. And I looked on the internet and then I saw that more people had problems with PP, SSPP and Falcon. So yeah, then I have to uh, investigate a bit more um, if I can get that working or not. So last time I was playing God of War and that was even with just the original, the one-time PSP rendering resolution. And it had severe performance problems. So now we've set it to three times upscaling. So here we go. Oops. Only to rid himself of the nightmares that haunted him for far too long. But for now, his only rest, his only relief from the sins of his past, is found in the Called upon by the gods to confront an unthinkable evil, unleashed on the city of Attica by the invading Persian army. So as you can see, no performance issues now, even with three times upscaling. So, yeah, now I understand why some people say that it's always better on Linux to compile yourself. Um, well, I would say that's probably only necessary when you're experiencing performance problems. So I will try to investigate if I can get Falcon working uh, because then probably I can get the upscaling even higher. But for now, three times upscaling, that looks um, already good enough. And for now, I'm happy with the results. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.